All right, we're here to, with Dinesh D'Souza on Radio Row at CPAC, and uh, he was here talking about his new movie that's coming out this summer called America. Dinesh, what exactly is America the movie? What is this about? What is it going to be? It's a patriotic movie. You know, uh, the philosopher Edmund Burke once said, to love our country, our country should be lovely. But this is a movie about why America is lovely. Uh, it's, a, it's a thinking type of patriotism, uh, but it's a very political movie too. It's looking at the forces that have built America, but it's looking at the forces that are dragging down America. Um, it's, this is not a film about Obama, but Obama and Hillary will both be in the film. And part of what we do in the film is we take on the progressive argument that America is based on theft. Okay. That capitalism is based on theft, right. and we we offer a moral defense of America and free markets. Okay, so it's not necessarily a sequel to 2016. Not really. It's um, um, it's in some ways you could look at 2016 as a kind of a horror movie uh, built <laughs> yes, on sadly. Obama and unknown facets of right. that uh, man's life. Uh, no, uh, we. This is a movie that has a hero, but the hero is America. Mm -hmm. It's America, the country, and part of what we want to do is tell the American story in a very fresh way, um, that uh, in a way gives conservatism a new language mm -hmm. for the 21st century. Okay, and in 2016, we saw a little bit that you kind of are the American dream. I mean, you've lived the American dream to an extent. And we were talking just a minute ago. Can you tell us a little bit about how you went from? Um, you know, White House press briefings to making movies about America and about our future? Well, first of all, you know, I, I came to America at the age of 17. I went to college here. I mean, even my job in the White House, I was in my early 20s. You know, here I am in the White House. I wasn't even a U.S. citizen. Right. So now in what country in the world can you be in the White House? You know, you're standing in the room with Reagan. Uh, you know, and you haven't got your citizenship yet. Now yeah. I have it now. Uh, we're very <laughs> but, glad about that. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but... Um, then I became, uh, you know, I went to um, there, a couple of big think tanks, so-called. Um, uh, the Heritage Foundation, not the Heritage, I used to work at a magazine, that the Heritage Foundation. But then I worked for the American Enterprise Institute, the Hoover Institution at Stanford. And I began a career of writing books. And I've now written about 12 of them. Um, and I only got the idea for movies um, from Michael Moore, of all people. Oh, wow. okay. I remember that he made Fahrenheit 9-11. I thought, gee, if a stupid guy like that can do it, <laughs> gee, you know, it reminds Surely me of... Surely a brilliant guy like you can too then, right? <laughs> the line from, like, the man who would be king, you know, where right. these two British guys, well, a Greek can do it, you know, Alexander the Great, <laughs> yes. we can do it. So I had that sort of uh, right. feeling, and sure enough, it was true. Um, I realized you can do it. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And with your movie being America, and my show caters more towards the younger generation, just wrapping things up, if you could give one piece of advice to the growing generation of young Americans, what would that be? You know, what the founders did in Philadelphia was they were like architects with the blueprint for a grand building. Yeah. And young people today are living in the building. Mm -hmm. Now, normally when you live in a building, you don't need to know about the blueprints. You just walk around right. and enjoy yourself. But it's only when the building starts to totter and start to fall apart, it's really helpful to know how it was put together. Yes. So the relevance of the founding is that we are at that kind of stage where we need to know the first principles of our society because those principles have been eroded. Mm -hmm. Now, they cannot be rebuilt in exactly the same way as they were before. Right, true. So it's a matter of reconstructing old values in a new circumstance. And that's our challenge, I believe, as conservatives today. I agree. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate you taking the time to be with us. You're welcome.